Hey everybody, it's Mary Ann. I'm going to make a table decoration and I got my supplies from the dollar store. Little teeny tiny lollipops. It's wonderful. I'm using a one and three quarter punch and a one inch punch. I don't have a one and three quarter from Stampin' Up! So I'm using a, a contraband. And I got this idea from Stampin' Mo um, Scrimping Mommy. <laughs> And she's in the UK. She's a wonderful, wonderful independent demonstrator who does wonderful um, items that I case quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, so I'm punching out as many of these little circles as I possibly can. I was able, I think, to get 16. You need eight of these circles. And I push the... Uh, even though that has like one edge off, it's not a big deal. It, it still works. So um, as far down as I can go with the one inch punch on the circle um, and still leave a complete circle is what I do. And it seems to work out all right. When you put the circle in, you hold it on its sides and it just, it works. And all you need is eight for each lollipop. And what you want to do is you want to fold it in half with the widest part on one end and the thinnest part on the other. And when you fold them in half, you're going to glue them together. And the easiest way to do that is, you know, pre-fold them if you can and um, put a little glue on. I'm going to show you how to do it without pre-folding. So you take one edge and you match it up with the other. It's very simple. The glue allows you time to maneuver it. And then you fold it up. See? It works. Either way, works. Um, the glue <coughs> gives you a little manipulating time. Uh, enough time for you to get the... Uh, <coughs> wow, excuse me. To get the... Uh, the circle to match up. Now, Scrimpy Mommy does four <clears throat> on one, um, two with four pieces on each. And that seems to work out well. I have done it where I've put all eight together. Uh, I think it's just a way of manipulating them, letting them dry, and then bringing them together. So, you know, it depends on, on yourself what you want to do. So, see, I have one, four, one with four circles, and then I'm making another one with four circles, and then I'm going to bring them together. And they look cute just the way they are. See, I'm just counting to make sure I have all four there. You stick uh, one next to each other, glue it on one side, and then um, let me show you how to put the lollipop in. You're going to have the fat side up. That's your top. Put the lollipop in, stem going up, and then putting glue on. Now on this one, I did four and four. So four on one, four on the other, and I'm putting them together. So I said you could do either way. It depends on what you want to do. I think having the four and four makes it a little easier, and they each can dry. Now I also stamped out, or I punched out, leaves and um, curlicues. Now if you take a, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch strip of cardstock and you use, you know, burnish it, you know, twirling it, you know how you made those little curlicues? Our cardstock will come apart and you'll get two. And it makes it nice and thin and, f and flimly, flimsy. Flimly. <laughs> and then you glue those onto your little pumpkin. And they come out, they look so cute. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed and you liked what you saw and want to see more, I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of my uploads. Also, if you are already a subscriber, which I have a few, I want to say thank you so much for being here and commenting. I love hearing from you and I appreciate it. Uh, also, just so you know, crafting makes you happy. See you next time.